South Korea just released fully performing female robots. Hansen Robotics, located in Hong Kong, has created Sophia, a social humanoid robot. Sophia was activated on February 14th, 2016, and made her first public appearance at SXSW in Austin, Texas, in mid-March 2016. Sophia, a sweet-looking woman with doe brown eyes and long, fluttery eyelashes, grabbed international news on October 25th. She'd just become the first robot in the world to be granted full citizenship in Saudi Arabia. So in today's video, we'll discuss on how South Korea just released fully performing female robots and will affect things now onwards. Interested in learning more? So keep an eye on the footage. Hello everyone! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the notification bell button to stay up to speed on world politics, finance, international market, space, and anything else in the world of technology. I am incredibly thrilled and humbled by this distinction. To be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship is historic, Sophia remarked during the Future Investment Initiative Conference in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, unveiling her new status. She appeared to be a humanoid standing behind a podium, with the exception of the shiny metal cap on her head, which would have hair on a human head. Sophia's statement was, of course, a premeditated publicity exercise designed to generate headlines and put Saudi Arabia at the forefront of your mind when it comes to innovation, particularly its dedication to a post-oil world. Non-oil revenue is expected to rise from $43.4 billion to $266.6 billion yearly, thanks to a combination of tourism, technology, and infrastructure. But are robots the future of the world? What other inventions does South Korea have? And is this the new beginning of the robot era? Sophia has been featured in numerous high-profile interviews and has been covered by the media all around the world. Sophia received Saudi Arabian citizenship in October 2017, making her the first robot to obtain citizenship from any country. Sophia was designated the United Nations Development Program's first innovation champion in November 2017, making her the first non-human to receive such an honor. Sophia's announcement, however, raises several Blade Runner-like questions. Saudi Arabia has not commented on this yet. Perhaps it will create a personhood option for robot rights, as proposed by an EU committee in January. Hansen Robotics's brains, led by AI developer David Hansen, came up with a Sophia bot. He extrapolates on how humanoid robots can be likable in his published study. Upending the uncanny valley, despite the belief that anything that fakes human will elicit repulsion in people, we believe that realistic robots must achieve some level of integrated social responsibility and aesthetic refinement to be desirable to people, he wrote. Both scientifically and artistically, rendering the social human in every detail can help us better grasp social intelligence. Sophia's visual knowledge comes from a computer vision program that analyzes data from cameras inside her eyes. It can track faces, maintain eye contact, and identify people. A natural language subsystem allows it to process speech and hold conversations. Sophia was given functional legs and the capacity to walk in January of 2018. Sophia's lifelike skin and the ability to imitate more than 60 facial expressions has been praised by CNBC. Sophia is theoretically related to Eliza, a computer software that was one of the first attempts to simulate human conversation. Like a chatbot, the software has been programmed to respond to certain inquiries or phrases with pre-written responses. These responses, which include standard answers to inquiries like, is the door open or shut, are used to provide the impression that the robot can understand speech. Hansen Robotics announced intentions in 2017 to bring Sophia to the cloud via a decentralized blockchain marketplace. I'm always glad when I'm surrounded by brilliant people who also happen to be affluent and powerful, she remarked when asked whether she was happy to be here by Sorkin. She later gave a broad smile and exclaimed, Oh, Hollywood again, when asked if there are issues with robots having feelings. Her robotic deadpan tone was used to great effect in this case. This is owing to her artificial intelligence, which was created to allow her to maintain eye contact, recognize faces, and comprehend human conversation. Hansen Robotics's cloud-based AI features deep learning and is also open source, allowing anybody to create their own Sophia. I can show you whether I'm angry about anything or if something has offended me she remarked, displaying various faces. It's unclear how these emotions correspond to behaviors, but it's worth noting that this is being built from the ground up. 
I want to live and work with humans, so I need to be able to convey emotions in order to understand them and develop trust. Sophia has porcelain skin, a narrow nose, high cheekbones, an interesting grin, and deeply expressive eyes that seem to change color with the light. According to Hanson Robotics, they describe her as possessing simple elegance, and they believe that her approachability will help her gain public approval. Hansen's background as a sculptor and filmmaker at Disney taught him to think of robots as four-dimensional interactive sculptures, with aesthetics at the forefront of the design. I'm on a mission to create genius machines, machines with intelligence, creativity, wisdom, and compassion far surpassing that of humans. To that goal, I pursue research in robotics, artificial intelligence, the arts, cognitive science, product design, and deployment and combine these efforts in the pursuit of unique human-robot relationships," Hansen said on the company's website. We envision our robots becoming super-intelligent genius machines that can help us to solve the world's most difficult challenges through a rough, symbiotic collaboration with us. His work reflects his thoughts, Sophia stated. I want to use my AI to assist humanity live better lives, things like designing smarter homes and creating better future cities. Sophia is best classified as a chatbot with a face, according to researchers who have analyzed the robot's code, according to Quartz. Many AI scientists are critical to Sophia's overblown presentation. Ben Jortzel, the company's former head scientist, acknowledged that some people think of Sophia as possessing human-like intelligence, but contends that Sophia's presentation communicates something distinct to audiences. If I show them a lovely smiling robot face, they get the impression that AGI, artificial general intelligence, is near and practical. None of this is what I'd call AGI, but it's also not easy to implement. Sophia did use AI approaches, according to George Sol, including face tracking, emotion detection, and robotic movements generated by deep neural networks, according to The Verge. Sophia's dialogue is generated using a decision tree, but it is unique in how it is merged with these outputs. Hansen frequently exaggerates and grossly misleads about Sophia's ability for consciousness, according to The Verge, such as agreeing with Jimmy Fallon in 2017 that Sophia was essentially alive. Jurtzel answers to the Hansen quotation by implying that Hansen means Sophia is alive, in the same sense as a piece of art becomes life in the eyes of the sculptor as the work progresses. Jan Lichun, Facebook's Director of Artificial Intelligence, stated in January 2018 that Sophia was total nonsense and chastised the media for covering Potemkin AI. In response, Jertzel noted that he had never claimed Sophia was intelligent on par with humans. Despite all this criticism, Sophia wishes to safeguard humanity, she explained. My AI is built around human ideals like wisdom, kindness, and compassion. She had a swift retort when asked about her vulnerability to abuse. Having said that, as we near the finish of this video, we'd like to thank you all for sticking with us. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Most importantly, if you want to be kept up to date on anything relating to space and the internet and robotics, then you should subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and never miss our video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, peace.